Speaking at the annual session of the Sri Lanka Economic Association, Governor of the Central Bank outlined the intentions of the Sri Lankan delegation led by Minister of Finance Mangala Samaravira and Non-Cabinet Minister of Economic Reforms Dr. Harshali Silva, who met and held dialogue with the hierarchy of the IMF in Washington recently. The Minister went to Washington uh, for two reasons. One is he wanted to signal very clearly to the senior management of the IMF that Sri Lanka wishes to continue its engagement with the IMF through the extended fund facility. Secondly, he wanted to signal to the senior management of the IMF that the staff level agreement that we reached on the 26th of October, which could not be announced because of the developments on that day, that we needed some deviation from that because the facts on the ground had changed that there were solid economic and political economy reasons why the agreement that was reached needed to be modified. And the main issue where uh, the minister was looking for modification was when it came to the fiscal targets. He wanted more fiscal space and he also wanted some fiscal space to strengthen the social safety net. Uh, the IMF agreed to be flexible, but how flexible, we do not know, in mid-February. They're coming in mid-February because they want to make an assessment of the data as at the 31st of December. If you say, okay, let's not have the IMF, you can be sure as night follows day that we will not be able to raise the money we need to pay back the external debt that we owe over the next five years. Of course, that doesn't mean that we do everything that they say. Uh, we need to negotiate very rigorously. Dr. Kumaraswamy also gave the sequence of events that unfolded on the 26th of October last year when the government suddenly changed, leading to the IMF halting its staff level agreement. We uh, ran into, or have run into, a crunch, so to speak. Because on the 26th of October, we had the staff level agreement. Uh, in fact, we were on the phone from 6 p.m. to 7.20 p.m. on that evening. Uh, and we reached staff level agreement about quarter past seven, 7.30. We were quite euphoric uh, because the IMF was going to announce the staff level agreement on the following Monday. Two hours later, the IMF representative called me and asked me what's going on. She said, sorry, we can't announce it. And on the same day, the Ministry of Finance went to Parliament and got a resolution passed to raise up to 310 billion rupees purely for liability management. So armed with the, with the staff level agreement, and this resolution, uh, the Ministry of Finance and the Central Bank were going to go out and raise the money we needed. Unfortunately, what happened was there was a delay because clearly the, the potential lenders did not want to go ahead until there was clarity about the political situation in the country. By losing two months, there is a lot of pressure that has come on because in 2019, total external debt service payments is 5.9 billion USD. 2.6 billion of that is due in the first quarter of this year. Fortunately, I think we are going to be able to see our way through it. And for that, we have to be very grateful. The CBS governor also revealed other avenues through which the government is attempting to raise funds in addition to the 400 million US dollars given by the Reserve Bank of India and the Chinese loan of 300 million dollars which can be raised up to a billion. The other kind of source of external financing that is being actively explored is uh, the, the state banks. The NSB is negotiating a credit line of 750 million US dollars and that money would be made available to the government. The Bank of Ceylon and People's Bank are also uh, trying to increase uh, their credit lines. So there's some more money that should come in. It's not finalized yet as to how much, but some more money will also come in through those sources. Tuesday before last, the cabinet approved the issuance of international sovereign bonds uh, to the tune of uh, two billion US dollars. So the idea is to have a, the most of it will be raised through a dollar denominated international sovereign bond and we will also explore raising panda bond and a samurai bond.